Tomorrow is still first Friday. That means a shortened schedule. Which, assuming the editors did their job, should be in this general vicinity. Let's see if admin has anything to say about Friday. Good morning, Spartans. Miss Hamill here. So there's a lot going on this week, but next week, let's talk about it. So Monday, regular day of school, be here at 7.30, please. Tuesday, regular day of school, be here at 7.30. Wednesday, PSAT, NMSQT, that's for 10th and 11th grade only. Be here at 7.30, test starts early. And then Thursday, you have 9th grade, PSAT 9. It is a 7.30 exam. Be here early and then Friday, no school. Have a great week. Do you need a little extra help with mathematics before first Friday? You can get it in room 125 from 3 to 4 o'clock today. Smartify yourself. Or have fun. Or both. It's news to me. That was a news plug. TJ! It's Sloan and Will with the news. Sloan, do you like Roman sculptures? Absolutely. Well, an American tourist just smashed two ancient Roman sculptures. It was in the Vatican Museum, which is known as one of the finest collections of Roman portraits in the world. The man who smashed these sculptures allegedly requested to see the Pope, and when he was denied, he threw a sculpture to the floor and fled the scene, knocking over another sculpture on the way out. In other news, a house cat in Michigan has earned the world record for the tallest living domestic cat. The cat's name is Finner, and he, and he measures a whopping 18.8 .8 inches. The owners say that you can hold the feline like a baby. Wow, that's a big cat. Yep. Well, that's it from us today. Peace. Peace. Last week, TJ Gymnastics had some big scores. It was Think Pink for Breast Cancer Awareness against Lakewood High School. The team will be competing again versus South, Northfield, and East this Saturday. For the rest of sports, let's hear from the people whose jobs are to tell us about the sports. Good morning, TJ! It's your mom! And me! Today with the sports! Varsity softball today has a doubleheader since their game with George Washington yesterday got cancelled. They play today at noon against GW and again at 4 against JFK. Wish them luck in the halls. Volleyball has games today. C team plays at 4.30. JV is playing at 5.30. And Varsity ends it off at 7. All games versus GW on home turf. Be there, TJ. In other sports news related events, during a game between the 49ers and Rams, a protester ran onto the field with a smoke bomb protesting piglet abuse, which reminds me of the pink out tonight after school for the volleyball team supporting kids are away this month. Wear pink, TJ. The protester was caught and tackled by Rams player Bobby Wagner, who might now face legal charges due to the excess force used against the protester. Remember, TJ, I'm Joe Football. And I'm Football Joe. Let's send it off to people in the halls. What's up, TJ? It's Alizé, your only senior on the softball team. Today we have a doubleheader. We play G-Dub at 12 o'clock, and then tonight is senior night. We play Kennedy at 4, so be there or be square. Hey guys, it's Nakaya from Girls Volleyball. Hey, it's Brooke and Abby. Today is our senior night game against George Washington. It's a pink out, so be there. And tonight we have our senior night for volleyball. It's pink out, so be there. It's at 6. Be there or be square, TJ. <laughs> Remember, if you want your picture to be beautiful, retakes are today. You should go during math class. But only if you actually need a retake. You should definitely not be arbitrarily skipping math class. Life Touch will be here in room 111 most of the day. Stop by if you need to. That's it from us. See you soon. Seriously, don't, don't skip math class. Seriously. I have a roll of duct tape. And I have this. Don't cut... It's D'Angelo. It's Jada. It's Aaliyah. Hello, G. We are here from leadership with an announcement that there is a pink out tonight at 6.30. Be there early and you might get some surprise swag. Mmm, <laughs> looking nice. Also notice that tonight at our volleyball game, our girls will be wearing pink shoelaces in honor of our community members who have survived and battled cancer. Be there, <sighs> TJ. Hey, TJ. It's Kendall. And Maya. And Lucy. With Sustainability Club. If you're eating lunch in the cafeteria, you'll notice this new contraption organizing our waste bins. We just want to thank everyone in Sustainability Club that helped us build this. There's a big banner on the front that tells you what kind of waste goes in each bin in order to divert as much trash out of our landfills as possible. We ask that you pay attention to what you're throwing away, as it only takes a few seconds to become more environmentally conscious. Thanks, TJ. Thank, thank you. you. Hey, Spartans. It's Delina from FCA. We have a meeting today in room 14. Be there. 
Hey there, TJ. It's Mr. Long here with your History of the Week so you don't forget events in the past. Today is actually the end of Yom Kippur, the holy day in the Jewish calendar. We actually have the calendar that we have nowadays because in 1582, the Gregorian calendar was introduced. Uh, back in 1962, during this week, the first James Bond movie hits theaters. In 1957, Sputnik, the satellite by the Russians, begins the space age after being launched into Earth's orbit. In 1871 was the Great Chicago Fire. In 1967, Che Guevara, the revolutionary figure, was captured and killed. And in 2012, Afghan activist Malala Yousafzai survives an assassination attempt, later becoming a very important public figure for women's education in Afghanistan. Thanks, folks. That is your history of the week, so you don't forget the past. See ya! Spartans, it's time for snack traps. Let's go! Hey, hey, everybody! Pay attention to that! I'm here with a Spartan edition with a snack traps award. Are you ready? Thunderous applause for McCabe Brockett. McCabe. Okay. Yeah! Culture at TJ is noted Thank with you. a wee prize. Get it up for my Snapchat? Yeah, snap traps. Snap traps? Yeah, I'm going to do the snap traps. Do it right now? No. You have a great day. Spartan Edition crew out of Snap Traps Award for someone. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yeah! yeah. It's for Rain Portress. Is Rain here? Yeah! yeah. Come hither, Rain. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Rain, your contribution to the positive culture at TJ is noted with a wee prize and a feature on Spartan Edition. Give it up. Woo! Person is here, Makur Abram. Yeah! Yeah! Right on, Makur. How are you? How are you? Good. Your contribution to the positive culture at TJ is noted with a wee prize and a feature on Spartan Edition. Give it up for Makur. I send an email to every single person who was nominated. There were 82 nominations, okay? So even if you didn't win this prize, check your email within the next few days and there will be a note there from me saying what teacher nominated you and what they said. Ma, that's so nice. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye! Which teacher at the school would you box? None of them. I'd lose. I don't know how to box. What teacher do you think you could win to, though? None of them. Who's your English teacher? Um, Mr. Sheehan. Oh yeah, no, you're, you're done for. <laughs> I'll box Mr. Poole, we have a lot of problems. Thank you. Which one of your coworkers at TJ would you box? Would I box? Yeah. Like a fight? Yeah. Coworkers? None, I, I love all the coworkers here at TJ. Well, you, you know, he's not a teacher, but Taj, because Taj be talking oh, yeah, too crazy. Taj, definitely. Taj be Taj. talking too crazy, you know what I'm saying? Hey, definitely. Taj, watch your, watch your tone. Yeah. All right, which one of your coworkers would you box? I wouldn't box anybody. I don't like violence. What teacher at the school would you box? Mr. Klimzak. Really? Yeah. Uh, Mr. Klimzak. Who on Klimzak? Like Mr. Bailey. Boxer teachers.